people able to govern themselves through institutions that they themselves create, through a constitution that they themselves wrote. The idea of America is that people can participate to the degree that they can direct, to some degree, the affairs of the nation. Take a seat. I want to uh, welcome you to your Los Angeles City Council. Every exercise of power in the Constitution ultimately is derived from the people. Alexandra Nagy. Uh. We came here today with a group of about 30 residents from across the city of Los Angeles, some impacted by the latest Porter Ranch gas blowout, to call on the city council to support us in demanding the permanent shutdown of Aliso Canyon. Infrared video taken by environmental activists shows a noxious plume rising over Porter Ranch from the Aliso Canyon storage facility. My name is Alexandra Nagy. I'm the senior organizer with Food and Water Watch, and we're here today to urge you to stand with us in calling out the blackout blackmail that's been perpetuated by SoCal Gas. What this dramatizes, I believe, is that government is of the people. And we should have had it in the spirit of Lincoln, by the people and for the people. I am born and raised in Los Angeles, where this disaster took place, and I just felt like I have to do something. I have to be acting. I have to be advocating for a future that we all deserve. Okay. Um, so what would be the best way uh, to go about... Let me give you my card if you could actually email me. Self-government is the ability of a people literally to govern themselves through institutions that they populate and control. As opposed to being governed by you know, some elite authority, a, a king or a dictator. Well, first it's important to understand that the Constitution is itself an act of self-government. The Declaration of Independence a decade before was an act of self-government. Coming and directly speaking to your elected officials and people who can help us get what we want is extremely valuable. They don't often hear from constituents, and when they do, it's often the one-off crazies who are here every day. Has he ever been here before? No. The guy with the hat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. His thing is crazy hats. So, like, you know, he has a new, he has a new hat, and sometimes they're like, really tall and they've got all kinds of, you know, toys on them and funny stuff. Our enchiladas do count, don't they? Get ready. The top of the pyramid is coming down. Sometimes I go into my little voice like this as a kid talking to most of you. What they really need to hear is from the people whose decisions they make impact. We are not against a new fire department. It's the location of the new fire department that is the issue. And I just want to say, please, these animals need freedom. These animals do not belong in the circus and for our greed. Thank Ms. you. Mr. Participation of the average American is pretty limited. I think they perceive their role in self-governance largely in terms of voting every one, two, or four years. They tend not to become terribly active in the process of governance. Uh, they don't say, apply pressure to their elected officials. Pulling back the curtain and showing how democracy should be working is really exciting to me. Any questions or anything? Yeah, so if you, if you filled out a comment card, they'll call your name. And, and basically, it could just be very simple. Say your name, where you're from, and say we need your support. Done. The more that we continue to empower ourselves and sort of take power and take ownership over these decisions, um, the better off we'll be. When they walk away from that responsibility in sufficient numbers, what you find is that the government grows and expands behind the scenes to fill in the void. So when people cede enough control and cease to be mindful of what the government does in their name, well, in the end, they have only themselves to blame. And I think most would agree with that. But more down that road, they have almost nothing they can do to reclaim what they've given away. And so we urge you to help us combat this. And we're looking for council support in the permanent shutdown of Lisa Canyon. We need you to be our voice when we take this to Governor Brown and urge him to keep it closed permanently. Thank you very much. The question we have here is one of ongoing sustainability. When the United States was formed, we were looking at roughly three and a half million people. And that was quite a large number at the time. Well, we're at 350 million or so now, a third of a billion. 
can we still participate to the degree necessary to involve ourselves in the project of self-governance? It's an open question.